Remember, I'm recording in 4K now because we have a 4K monitor. So hopefully the picture quality is better for everyone. I hope that is the case. I'll try and get the camera in nice and close so that we have some beautiful footage. Now, I'm not going to talk over the pulling in of pots, but if anything interesting happens, like we get over a thousand. Actually, I don't know how much to expect from a net. Let's find out. This boat is so fast. Yeah, totally balls that up. I knew I had. Ah, got to get closer. Yeah, this boat is, it can get up to like 26 knots. Um, I think at one point, maybe just fractionally, I had it up to 27 knots with the waves, obviously. I was so close to getting that right then. Just a fraction off. Right, let's see if we actually have any fish today. Let's get rid of these alerts as well. So they definitely seem to be processing fish. Very quickly, in fact. Look at that. She's much quicker than I am. So how many fish do you think we're going to get? If it's not more than a thousand, then it's much quicker to use broken nets. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch the last episode and you will. 5,800. Okay, fair enough. Wow. 5,800 and we've got 40 of these. Yeah, we are 1 million percent not going to be able to get all this in, are we? Okay. Lesson learned. Uh, where's my crew gone? Where did she go? Why is she resting? She's not bloody tired, is she? Holy cow's milk. All right, slight problem. It's very difficult in this game as well to be able to see, uh, see at night. I probably should upgrade my searchlight, it might help. But right now, I can't... S All of our boys are supposed to have little lights on them. Oh, <laughs> that's because I am way, way off track. So I can kind of see them now. I didn't realise how off track I was. That was that was terrible. Right, so as I say, I'm going to try and not talk too much throughout this. But um, we are going to fill up the boat so quickly that uh, I think we're going to have to go back to shore and drop them off before we can get the next lot in. So, uh, 60,000 kilograms doesn't seem like an awful lot when you haul in five and a half, six thousand. We're only going to get ten in, so we're going to have to go back to port four times, which means the last lot are not going to be in good condition. Problems. First world problems. Damn it. I hope you appreciate how tricky it is to do that. Oh, what? We were so close to that. Why didn't that pick up? That should have picked up. It looks fantastic on video. Um, when you get it right, and sometimes I get it right like multiple times in a row, but quite often I don't get it right at all, like now. And it's so tough to get right. But my God, it looks good when you get it right. I'm going to try something slightly crazy here, actually, guys.
And I do mean crazy. I am going to try, because bearing in mind, we built this on a totally straight line. Oh, God. Go away. Theoretically, we should be able to pick them up on a totally straight line. Something like that. 393? Net 2 damaged? What? What was wrong with that line? Oh, don't start this rubbish again. Oh, this is so broken. Right, so I put autopilot on. Now, if we're lucky, it will align perfectly with the with the nets. And if it does, then we can fully automate the picking up of nets as well. If it does. Right, it's looking close. I think it's a bit too far out. Oh, they pulled it in. Net too damaged. Oh, great. So all the nets are bloody damaged again. Seriously? I get the impression that going to the map caused that problem. I don't know. But now all of our nets are damaged again for no reason whatsoever. So we started off spectacularly well. And uh, we were going to have to go back to shore four times over. Now, now it's not working very well at all. That should work, guys. At least a bit. Just go back into first person mode. Yeah, it's still on. All right, let's try this. So all of our nets are broken again because the game is buggy as hell. Uh, but I'm just going to try and see if I can automate the collection of nets. Net fishing, as far as I'm concerned, is just too broken. It's, it's a bit like lobster fishing at the moment. It's just so broken, there's no point in even doing it. But if we can just get enough money together to buy a crab boat, then screw it. I'll go fish for crabs. And we'll just hope and pray that that works. Because right now, nothing works. You can appreciate, I'm sure, how difficult it is to steer a boat when you can't actually look forwards. But the end result, in terms of entertainment quality video looking stuff, oh gee whiz, that's hard to get. Alright, let's just, uh, let's just line up properly on this one. Again, we have this problem where I can't steer and accelerate at the same time, or I can't steer and use the throttle at the same time. Now, that, that looks pretty straight. I'm quite happy with that. Let the autopilot take over. I think that's going to need a bit of adjusting. like that. Let's see how that goes.
Alrighty, so if I'm lucky, we'll be able to get some beautiful footage and you guys can see how incredible this game looks and uh, as a result of that you'll be able to see just how beautiful and how much potential this game has. Oh, we actually appear to be proper doing the nets again. Which is a tad weird. Well, that's weird. Why do we have a couple of broken nets and then everything's fine again? Or may oh, no, no. Okay, I see. It's a guy in the background processing the, the fish gutting machine. In fact, I think he's hand gutting at the moment. So the old marker is up, the old boy has appeared. Please pick up the boy. Yes, beautiful. I think we may have cracked it, guys. So I can now record some of the most beautiful footage for you, for a bit at least, until it goes wrong. And um, yeah, hopefully uh, you can just sit back, relax, enjoy some music and um, enjoy the experience. So this is gonna be an incredibly long video, but uh, full of so much content it's so much varied content it might surprise you so uh yeah i don't think we're going to get many fish unfortunately we'll probably be about half full at best because all of the nets are now broken for whatever reason a bug of some sort i think it's got something to do with the map i'm not entirely sure but uh it will get fixed they will eventually fix it Bugger. Wrong side of the boat. Ah, pretty much the very first one. Why are we going forwards? For God's sakes, game. I've lost steering again. It's permanently locked on right steer, I don't know why. Totally lost control of the boat. You can look at the wheel actually. If I turn it left, it's just, yeah, it's permanently turning left. I'm having to fight against it. Oh, that might be because this is on, look. Yeah, sorry, that's my bad. All right. Don't leave the autopilot on if you're trying to adjust the steering. Because <laughs> it will fight you every inch of the way. I think maybe there's an argument to be had that if, uh, if you do take off the autopilot, or, you know, take over steering or throttle or whatever, that the autopilot disengages, I think there's a... A good argument to make that happen. Oh, this is not going to go well.
I was curious actually as to what would happen. Would it spring back into shape? Would it bring the other pot closer? Uh, and uh, yeah, I think it did. I think it was quite realistic the way that behaved actually. Right, come on, for God's sake. The clunkiness of this game is really starting to get on my nerves. So we're lined up, finally. Oh, it's gone into bloody full throttle again. So lucky to get that. Net two damage to use. Yes, we know. Something to do with this clunky-ass game. Right, now, according to that line, we are perfectly in alignment. So, stupid game, perfectly align yourself and drive straight to the next buoy. We're not in perfect alignment, as I like to point out. Right, I think we might have it this time. It looks to be better aligned. We'll just watch uh, the next few nets being pulled in and we'll make sure that we're nice and tight. And then, uh, then we can spin the old camera around and get some nice footage. Kidding me. It's not going at all well, this. Come on, you stupid broken game. It's getting jolly warm in here, guys. Let's put the old fan on. It's going to make the audio a bit crap, uh, crappy. I do apologise. I'm starting to melt. It's also not good for the PC. steer whilst the bloody throttle's on, look. Stupid ass game. Can't keep on a straight flipping line. I wouldn't mind, but I mean, it's so broken since all these patches.
Oh, come on. Oh, honestly, it doesn't handle at all. It won't steer, it won't accelerate or brake when you want it to. It's just doing whatever it bloody wants. It's driving me mad! Oh, I can't steer the boat again. Well, you're right on it, just pick it up for God's sake. Let's move on, let's forget that ever happened. I don't understand how it's getting inside the inside the buoy. If you look at the marker, it's constantly outside of the buoy. Let's try it like that. <sighs> it's it's very difficult to genuinely stay motivated for a game that has just destroyed all of your nets for no reason whatsoever. Anyone who remains positive and happy about the game when that happens is totally BSing you. The reality is, if you bought this game and that happened to you, you would be very annoyed. Which is how I feel right now. I'm very annoyed. Very frustrated and I just want to get all the nets in now and just go and get a different boat and do something else because the whole experience has just been totally diminished because of the bugs that I'm experiencing. And if there was a way to just automate this, I would just hit the button and walk off now. Let it just do itself and then I'll come back and sort it out later. In time, all these bugs will be fixed and this game will work perfectly. But this rushing out hot fixes is just causing more problems. And I'm getting so many of you messaging me today uh, saying oh, this is broken that's broken now this doesn't work it's just got worse uh, and, you know people are saying to me they should roll back this hot fix what they should do is create a beta branch and upload beta fixes to there and when they've got that fixed and solid then put it live to the public because as broken as it was before breaking it in ways that it wasn't broken originally is only going to antagonize people even more and to be honest with you, their project manager should be saying this to them. Their project manager, or whoever it is, should be saying to the boss, look, you're making things worse. By forcing us to quickly release untested patches, you're forcing us to make things even worse than they already are. And it's just ridiculous. Come on, for God's sakes, take your time, much. Let's go get a drink, it's so hot in here. Can I trust it to stay on point? I don't know, I very much doubt it. So I'm trying to get all those little dots lined up straight with the boat, like that, sort of. And it's not easy. But the autopilot really should be doing a better job than, I, I, than it is, I think. Maybe not. I mean, in reality, you wouldn't expect an autopilot to maintain a straight dead straight line anyway because you've got waves and currents and wind and all sorts of stuff affecting you so I ought to stop moaning about the autopilot I guess
Ah, gosh. So I'm going to do a little experiment here. I think the answer is yes, but can you pick up a net from the second buoy? So if you miss the first one, maybe you can just continue on to the next one. And as long as you've got the alignment right, it should be okay. That's my theory. I think it should work. I'm going to test it right now. And number 12. Let's go outside so that we know we've got the alignment. Constantly stuck in maximum throttle. We can't slow down. Yes, you can. Okay, that's cool. That's something. That's a teeny tiny little mini positive. So if you're ever pulling in nets and you accidentally go past what, like the next one in line, you can always just pick it up on the, the one after that. Uh, I can't wait to get on the crabs. So I, honestly, I, I'm sick and tired of this now. The net. I knew I didn't like nets for a reason. I couldn't remember what it was. I'm never going to bloody forget now. This is this is the worst it's ever been. It's it's never been this bad before. So unbelievably broken. Can of pop, glass of water. Bit of advertising, because obviously Coca-Cola support my channel. Never had a sponsor. Quite a few people offered to be my sponsor. Most of them full of hot air. Had some very, very generous direct. I've only had one sip. Some very generous donations from uh, from the community. So, guys, thank you so much. I'm, I'm working on a solution to better thank you for those donations. Um, massively appreciated, and uh, I will be working very hard on. Uh, making things uh, better in the future on that regard. I, you can see when the ocean resets, and I've played quite a few um, ocean-y based games, and they all seem to do that. The ocean can only be the ocean for so long before it has to reset. I don't know why that button doesn't work sometimes. Probably something to do with these stupid alerts that pop up all over the place. Five left to go, we've got just over half the tank full. It's gonna have to do, isn't it? The game totally screwed us. We should have had four full um, boats worth. And instead we've got one half, so not happy. Nearly done though. And I'm sorry if you like net fishing and you're enjoying watching the series, but I'm not doing nets again until they're fully fixed. There's no way I'm putting up with this rubbish again. This has just wasted so much of my time and it's just really dampened my enthusiasm. I'm a massive fan of the game, big advocate of the company. But I, I warned them that they were going to do this and they went ahead and did it anyway. I just wish people would listen to me sometimes. We could have avoided all this if they just employed me as a PR man, as a project manager, anything really. Any influence I could have had on the game, all of this could have been avoided. And I know they're going to sort it out. I know it's going to be fine. I know the game is going to evolve and I know if they're true to their word, and start adding hardcore mode stuff, then the game is really going to be a very, very popular game. But in the meantime, we've got all this rubbish to put up with, so... Shall I see if I can pull in those nets that are out there that, uh, you know, the extra ones that are not supposed to exist? Shall I see if I can pull them in? I'm a bit scared. If I pull one in, because of the way it was generated, maybe it's going to crash my game. And let's be honest, I've worked bloody hard for this 32,000 kilogram of fish. And there's a text message to prove it. 
that's Miss Game saying we're not doing hardcore mode anymore. Stick it up your bum. See if you guys have said anything else interesting. Most of what you say is interesting. I get the few, just the odd a hole, just being an a hole. But on the most part, everyone's you know just engaged and sharing opinions. Not necessarily the same opinion I have. Just you know, politely discussing uh, the game in from their perspective, which is not necessarily the same as mine. Which is absolutely fine. That's exactly the kind of conversation I like to read and engage in. One of the things I'm, I'm really grateful for, and there's another one here, is um, when people sort of, you know, when I say, oh God, how do you do that? And they know how to do it, and then they tell me, which is brilliant, and I really appreciate that. Right, the last one is coming in. The last real one, anyway. We'll go and pick up the fake ones in a minute. Not all of them. I don't think we'll be able to get any on board. Pretty sure the game... Look at this catch rubbish. What's this? This is a new bug. What's this bloody thing that keeps popping up? Ah, oh, we did it, guys. Woo! Was that fun or what? Oh, no. Oh, they're actually processing that one. You are kidding me. It destroyed all of my nets except for that last one. Would you believe it? We're going to go up to like 37,000 kilograms on the very last net. Unbelievable. That or it's crashed. <laughs> Which is also very possible. Let's zoom in a bit and see what they're actually doing. Are there actually any fish? Oh, there are fish. Oh, we got 4,000 kilograms for that. That's not bad. Considering what we've been pulling in for the last six hours. Not really six hours. It just feels like six hours. Where is it? Ah, there it is. See how badly lit up they are. If you were this close to those, they would really be lighting up. You would really see them. How would any ship ever avoid those? You cannot see them. They've got to get the lights working at night time. The night is brilliant. It's so dark. I love it. But the things that light up in the dark need to actually light up. Otherwise, it doesn't work. This is the same problem I had. In um, Fishing Barren Sea, I would turn the gamma right down which made it dark, but then I couldn't see anything because none of the lights lit up. And it's exactly the same problem now. That might even be what they're doing with the gamma, I don't know. Oh, bloody hell, are they pulling it in? They're processing it. My word, this is odd, isn't it? So we're actually going to turn a bloody awful result into, well, we're going to get maybe a full boatload, I don't know. We're going to be, we're going to be close to 50,000 kilograms, aren't we? Which is something at least. After what's been an incredibly frustrating episode. Wow, 7,000 kilograms on that one. That was a massive step forward, I like that. We got two more of these little beauties. Let's try this. We could get another 15,000 kilograms at this rate. It's just turned blue as well. Been in the water for exactly 20 hours and 20 hours and 30 minutes. Right, come on boys, let's get another another 7,000 K on the go. Right, who's snoozing? Get back out there, you. Always bloody snacking, sleeping. Don't tell me they've processed all those fish. I suppose we're only pulling in very small numbers, aren't we? 
300 kilograms instead of 7,000 kilograms. But that last 7,000 kilograms, I suppose they must have processed them when I did the fast travel thing. It's like, uh, it's like an Enigma machine, this game, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> if I press this button, what happens over here? Oh, that's very unexpected and strange. What does that mean? How do I recreate that? How do I stop that from happening? I haven't the faintest idea what's going on. This game is a bloody puzzle. Oh my God, it just confuses me so much. So what's this one, guys? Place your bets. What are we going to get on this one? Come on, type it in uh, comments. Quick, 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 quick. Is it going to be a big haul? Is it going to be a disaster? What's, what's going to happen? They're processing it. They're processing it. It's a good one. I wonder if by accidentally putting down those extra pots, that's what broke all the other ones. It's very difficult to know, isn't it? Very difficult to know. So we could be almost a full boat by the end of this, the way it's going. Oh no, the net was too damaged, not fully completed. 2,600, ah, oh, that's a shame. So you never know, who expected that? Who expected two and a half thousand? I bet none of you guessed that, did you? All right, we got one left, guys. I really want you to put in, ch in comments, even if you can't be bothered to comment, just, just take a moment, just chill out. Be cool, man. Just be cool. And just leave a comment. How many are we going to get on this last net, which doesn't really exist? Is it going to be 500 kilograms? Is it going to be 2,500 kilograms like the last one? Or is it going to be a full 7,000 kilograms? What's going to happen, guys? It's, it's the big gamble. It's the final one. I'm not going to do nets again for a long time. So this is your last chance to get involved in the net debacle. How much are we going to pick up today? What's it going to be? What do your instincts tell you? How do you feel? How does it look? How does it smell? How does it taste? Is it victory or doggy doo doo? It's doggy doo doo, boys and girls. <laughs> yes, of course it is. Doggy doo doo. Because you never know what's going to happen in this game. It's completely unpredictable. Right. <sighs> Speaking of unpredictable, what do you think the prices are going to be like? We already unloaded a load there, didn't we? Unloaded a load? That's not good grammar, is it? That's appalling grammar. Um, I feel like chicken tonight, so I'll tell the wife. But uh, uh, before we do that, let's come up here and drop some... Uh, Drop some fish off at the top port. Oh, gosh. Right, okay, I've decided. We've got probably about four million after this drop-off. So in the next episode, we're going to do some crabs, all right? I've decided that's what's going to happen. We're doing crabs. And I'm also going to start uploading... Uh, every three days, because I can't keep up with this pace. <laughs> I'm exhausted, guys. The game has finally worn me down. I've got no energy left. I, I feel like I feel like it's an uphill battle on a daily basis at the moment. And although we've automated the setting of pots, in fact, that would probably work. Well, you see, when you do lobster potting, they chuck them in automatically, except for the big long one that you tie up. So yeah, it could work for that, I guess, couldn't it? So that's pretty cool. We could, uh, we could do that. 45 and a half thousand kilograms, guys. That's, that sounds like a lot, but it's less than a quarter of what we should have been coming back with. But on the flip side, we should have three extra nets that we got for free. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's pros and cons to this game all the time. It's not all bad. In fact, I'm about five episodes ahead of you. I think I'm going to start a few episodes ago. I'm going to start spacing them out to three days because I'm, I'm feeling a bit burnt out. And uh, the bugs that they've introduced are really kind of wearing me down. <laughs> I don't have the energy to um, keep being positive about stressful, frustrating experiences. 
to which anyone who's managed to watch all the way through has said, well, you, you haven't done that once, Sim, so <laughs> you're not being positive at all. all. Right, what are we going to sell this for? The game's crashed, doesn't it? Oh, my word. Oh, my word. So, all of that stress for 292000 That's And people are telling me, incorrectly, obviously, people are telling me incorrectly that net fishing is where the money is. It's not. I could have earned twice that doing 40 deep lines easily. Now, to be fair, 40 nets, if I'd have got full nets all the way through, would have netted me somewhere in the region of 1.2 million. But nets at the moment, totally broken. Totally broken. Totally and utterly, utterly botly, utterly botly broken. That's what it is. Utterly botly broken. And I'm not happy. I'm really not. Right. We sold the bloody fish. Alright. The fish are gone. I don't want to see them bloody fish anymore. You can stick them fish up your bloody trumpet. I don't want to hear, see or smell another fish for at least three days. Alright. I'm done. I tell you. I'm done. So what we're going to do instead, guys, just to finish this episode off and sort of set the basis for the next one is we're going to have a look at some boats, isn't it? We're going to have a... What? Oh, man, I'm trying to move the map, not click the bloody thing. I figured out how to get in that port, by the way. You have to come really wide on this part. You can't be in the middle. You've got to be right up hard on this channel. And then for some reason it fits. I don't know why. Oh, do you know what I didn't do? I didn't check how much fuel we had. It'll be alright. Don't worry about it. Be fine. We've got insurance anyway, so, uh, you know. We covered. See? Worked. Told you. I know everything now. I'm like a super master. I'm like the fishing North Atlantic flipping oracle I am. Anything you want to know, you just ask me and I'll tell you. I don't bloody know. <laughs> Last week, net fishing was brilliant. This week, it's bloody awful. What will it be like next week? I don't bloody know. Could be anything. Next week, you might end up with swordfish, for all I know. The way this game's going at the moment. With their hot fixes. <laughs> Super duper. Look how quickly we fix this bug. Yes, well done. That's brilliant. Look at these 12 bugs you've introduced. Now, stop hot fixing things and start doing things sensibly. Right, what have we got in the shipyard? Please tell me. So, we got the snar set. What does the snar set do? Snar set is made of aluminium, a top modern fishing bird. But what does it do? This very much looks like net fishing, doesn't it? Or is it. Trawling. But it could be a trawler, couldn't it? Hmm. Why doesn't it tell me what it does? Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do, guys. We're going to pour... We're going to save the game. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to save the game. Save career. So we'll save it there. We'll save it there. We'll save it there. And we'll save it there. Because obviously a lot of crap has happened. A lot of crap has happened. And we don't really know what's going on. So. I think I've got the money for that boat. Let me just double check that. I may have completely imagined it. Have I actually got enough money for that boat? Yeah, it's only 550,000. That's cheaper than the boat we've got now. This thing's going to be tiny. Max storage size, 40,000 kilograms. Oh, we don't want this boat. That would be a downgrade. All right, forget that. Forget that rubbish. We're not doing that. No bloody chance. On to the next port. Stop accelerating forwards. We want to go backwards. Oh, before we do that. Well spotted, whoever said that. We need some fuel. Thank you. We need to repair the hull. All right, let's go. Don't worry, guys. This episode is nearly over. 
It's about a week long. It took me seven months to make this one. It was a rat flipping nightmare as well. It was hot. Hot, sticky. Very, very stressful. Alrighty. Beep, Bob. Beep. Go back to Dennis. All right, Dennis. Well, I haven't seen you in time, son. How are you? Well, I don't really know. Oh. <laughs> that was a terrible attempt at doing uh, Vera from uh, Coronation Street. If you're not British, you're going to think I've gone completely bonkers. I understand that. I appreciate exactly where you're coming from. And as mentioned many times before, there's a large section of the British population who are going to agree with you. But, I say in my defence, have you ever tried talking for six hours about something that's really broken but trying to stay positive? It's not easy, guys. It really isn't. It's making me sniff. I'm so upset. I could cry. I'm making my nose run and everything. God, this water looks good, doesn't it? Get in there. Oh, my God. You can, you can see how I'm caring less and less with each, with each bug. I'm like, oh, whatever. Doesn't matter what I do, it's all gonna break anyway. So we got the the Falabulum. Oh, this is a new boat. It's an old fishing boat originally built in the 60s. That's no good to us. The legend, we've had this before, it's a tiny boat. Max storage size, 20,000 kilograms. Oh, do you know what? There's not a decent crabbing boat anywhere, is there? I could have sworn there was a crabbing boat somewhere. What about the Toby? What does it do? They never tell you, do they? Oh, Cod, Haddock, Pollock, Redfish, still hate. So that's a net fishing boat. I guess you can figure it out from the quotas. Right, well, I don't know, guys. It seems like... It almost seems like... I don't know. I don't know. I want to do some crabbing. We'll, we'll go up to the northern ports at the top. We'll unlock them again for the second time. And um, we'll see if we can perhaps get ourselves a crabbing boat, because this is just driving me potty. I'm going mental on this one. I really am. Oh, craziness. Absolute craziness. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. This one's going to take me so long to edit. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. Goodbye for now. Oh, before I go, one last thing. I am going on holiday with the family next week. So if there's a couple of days without videos, I do apologise. Uh, but time, limits, frustrations, things like this. Um, unforeseeable events, etc. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves until next time. Goodbye.